friends, can you give me a high five if you are ready to have fun with me and Fitz today? High five, good boy. Today, we are learning about worms, and worms like to wiggle. Let's pretend that we have worms at the end of our hand. How many worms do you have? I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's put all of our worms into a box because our worms have lost all of their wiggles. Do you think we can help our worms get their wiggles back? Here are some worms that are oh so sad. They've lost all the wiggles that they once had. They wonder if you, just for today, would lend them your wiggles so they can play. Take your worms out of the box if you can let them borrow your wiggles. Wiggle them up, wiggle them down, Wiggle them around and around and around. Wiggle them high, wiggle them low, wiggle them fast, and wiggle them slow. Wiggle them over your shoes and your socks. And now it's time to put those wiggle worms back into their box. <laughs> Fitz and I are making paper worms for a wiggle worm race. Would you like to make a wiggle worm with us? You will need paper, a ruler, a straw, a pencil, a marker, and scissors. Please remember to use scissors with grown-ups watching. Okay, let's get started. First, use your ruler to draw a straight line down the short end of your paper. Use scissors to cut along the line. Grown-ups, you may need to help your child with this part, but I encourage you to let them practice cutting along the line to help build their fine motor skills. Next, measure the strip and cut it so that it is about six inches long. You can measure with a ruler or if you have a dollar bill, you can measure with a dollar bill. Fold the strip of paper in half. Make a crease in the fold. I 
and fold it. Fold one half of the paper in toward the crease. And do the same thing on the other side. Fold the strip in half again. And again. Fold the halves together. And use your scissors to round the edges. This is kind of tough, so a grown up might need to do this part. Now unfold, use a marker to draw a face on one end if you want to. And now you have made your very own paper wiggle worm. Use a straw to gently blow the center of the worm to make it crawl. Grown-ups, I encourage you to make a few paper wiggle worms with your child. You can host your very own paper wiggle worm race or use your ruler or hands to measure the distance that your wiggle worms crawl. Fitz and I are excited to share a few of our favorite stories about worms. You can borrow our favorites from Howard County Library System. Visit us online at hclibrary.org to search the library's catalog for these titles, place requests, and schedule contactless pickup. You can also make an appointment to visit us in person at one of our branches. More details are available on our website. The first story we would like to share is Bob and Otto by Robert O'Bruel. Bob and Otto are very different. Bob is a caterpillar. Otto is an earthworm. Together, they discover that they each have a unique purpose in the world. I really love the message of this story. Bob and Otto by Robert O'Bruel. Carl and the meaning of life by Deborah Friedman. When a field mouse asks Carl the earthworm why he tunnels through the ground, Carl goes on an adventure to find out. If you've ever wondered why earthworms are important, you'll find out with this story. Carl and the meaning of life by Deborah Friedman. Yucky worms by Vivian French. A young child helps grandma in the garden and in the process learns the important job earthworms play in helping plants grow. That's Yucky Worms by Vivian French. The next story is really fun. Superworm by Julia Donaldson. Just at a cape and worm becomes a superhero Wizard Lizard has captured Superworm and forced him to dig for treasure. Will Superworm's bug friends be able to rescue him? That's Superworm by Julia Donaldson. Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. This story inspired our STEAM project today. 
to keep from being eaten, an inchworm measures the birds that he meets. Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and Fitz today. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Until next time, stay safe and well. Fitz and I will see you again soon. Bye.